all right here is today's plan uh, you guys remember the the wing install I did on this uh, Pro VXT um, the headlights are fine I was thinking about changing those to um, LEDs but then I was like eh, you know I could try that I guess but I found these online these aux beam lights this is a 20 incher I think I only paid like 20 something dollars for it and then I got a whole bunch of uh, got a whole bunch of these ones and I just installed two of them on, on my other truck uh, for reverse lights and I forgot to turn the camera on but these are super simple so I'll uh, I'll make another video on putting these on but first I wanna see if I can let me set you up on a tripod and see how this looks alright so here's my plan <clears throat> I'm gonna hook these up direct because since they're only 20 bucks they didn't come with any uh, they didn't come they come with the mounting hardware um, the two brackets here but it didn't come with any of the extra wiring with the on off switch and that's okay because I want these to be hooked directly up to my brights so when I click on my high beams this will come on and I want to mount it right here I think that's going to be a good spot for it I can tap right into this uh, wire right here where where my lights branch off of and find the high beam wire and then find the ground but I'm going to find a hunk of steel here and maybe a little bit higher yeah maybe a little bit higher I'm going to take a take a piece of um, steel and bend it so I can grab these two bolts put two holes in it take these uh, um, nuts off put it on there tighten it down it'll go up over and down and hook into there and then I can drill two holes in the top of that and just stick that right on there and then I can angle it up and down anywhere I want so I think that's the plan now I just gotta find a hunk of metal and uh, this garage needs a freaking thorough cleaning but over here is where all the scrap metal is for various little projects and stuff and I got some of these old plow harnesses and stuff that maybe I can salvage something off but I'm gonna go pick through this for a while and figure something out and I'll get back to you alright looks like I found something I took a steal off an old uh, landscape trailer I have in the backyard there's nothing over there was thin enough this is actually pretty thick but it's the same thickness as everything else in here so once it's uh, painted up and everything it should look alright but uh, just made some lines on it here and here that's where I want it to bend and then uh, once I get the height that I want to I'll I'll cut off the ends and then we'll measure measure for the, the holes so I'm gonna get to work on this thing and I'll get back to you in a minute Gotta go quench that and see what that looks like. Yeah. 
That should be close. some paint on it and then we'll get to bolting that together uh, I don't think you saw yeah you did see that okay be back all right I think that's a good spot for it in between the headlights it's down below the hood um, I got a four inch lift on this truck so the plow harness is uh, low on the truck because I had to put those extenders on the frame to keep the uh, to keep the bottom parallel. Um, I thought about um, raising that light bar up, you know, so you can see the tops of the headlights through the windshield, like on, you know, most plow vehicles. But you know, I've been doing it for six years with this truck. Different plow, but same setup. And uh, I think that's going to be cool. And I'm going to just get the height that I want there. I just got to clamp down. I'm going to get the height that I want there. Um, get some paint on that thing and then uh, mount the light to it and then I got to figure out I'm gonna tap into the wiring harness and grab the um, well I don't know I thought about I thought about a different way um, tapping into my fog lights uh, the fog lights are down here and when I have the let's see yeah, they still come on when the plow is on the on position. The lights on the plow are on the on position. So I'm thinking maybe I will just tap into the fog lights. So then all I got to do is either on high beam or low beam, I can just pull out the, um, uh, you know, the, the light switch for the headlights. If you push and pull it, that is for the uh, fog light. So let me get this straightened up and painted and we'll get going from there. All right, well, there is the light all mounted up I think it came out great paint wasn't super super dry when I put it on there but I managed to keep it pretty clean so now the trick is to get these wires hooked up to the fog lights and in order to do that I obviously want to be able to unplug it when I unplug the plow or else it'll just tear the wires out I was hoping that I could find in this plug um, power, you know, obviously that end of it, power for the uh, fog lights, but I can't. I just got marker lights, high beams, low beams, and then the rest are for the solenoids. So what I'm going to do is, in my stash, I found an old uh, plow harness for a, um, for a western plow. I think I'm going to use this side. No, this side. This side I'll use as the truck side. So that will be uh, coming out of the coming out of the grill, along with that power cord. Okay, so it'll just be along next to that one, and then I will hook this one up to um, this. So I'll put the the red on the purple and the black on the white, or vice versa, or whatever. And then I'll just solder that together and make sure that's a good piece. So then I'll have a nice plug. So right now I am getting a, into the front end of the truck here and trying to figure out which is the power uh, that goes to that um, fog light. So 
once I figure that out, I'll get it hooked up and we'll we'll see what's up. Okay, so the black wire is the ground and the and the red wire is power. Okay, so what I'm going to do is tap into those wires with that um, western ball thing. I'll do it up here somewhere. Up here somewhere. And then get that all soldered in there and taped off and whatever I got to do. Plug this back into the light to make sure that it works. And then uh, we should have power going to the uh, to the aux light up, in, up on the front here. So let me get busy working on this thing and I'll get back to you. Okay, well, I cut all sorts of zip ties and got wires pulled out so I can get to it all, but so I got to clean it up. But I have the main uh, harness for the plow here and through the, um, uh, what do you ever call this, the cover for when it's off the truck, I put the wiring harness for the, um, the new spotlight through there. That's hooked up there and then the regular power and then this is my block heater. So let's see if what we got here. All right, well there you have it. Fog lights are on. So that, oh man, that thing is bright. Not picking it up on camera, but that's bright. Looks like my driver's side headlight is a little dim. So I gotta check the ground on that one. This one seems to be normal. That thing's bright, wow. And it operates off of fog light. So, off, on. It operates off the fog light. Pull it out, turn it on, off, turn it off. And then the headlights just work as they normally do. So if I, you know, if I just want to use my headlights like normal, no big deal. When I want to put the fog lights on, and in the summertime when the plow's not on there, obviously just the fog lights come on. So it's absolutely perfect. All right, so that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and have a great day. 